So let's go ahead and rewind back a few years when the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, and 11 Pro Max came out. And in my opinion, these were probably some of the best iPhones ever made. And honestly, even though these iPhones are about three years old right now, I think this whole entire release cycle was probably the best iPhone release of all time. Now, first things first, obviously these iPhones are a little bit old now. They're not, you know, perfect by any means anymore. But when these iPhones actually ended up coming out, you know, this time, you know, last year, three years ago, the methodology behind these iPhones, I think that's the best way to describe it, really kind of knocked everybody, including myself. I didn't think Apple was going to go ahead and do exactly what they did with these devices. So what actually ended up happening pretty much for the most part, Apple went ahead and created the iPhone 11, 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max, and they kept the craziest thing. They gave the best internals to all of the iPhones. And typically with a lot of Android phones, you know, back in 2019, the flagships of those times would end up having probably the, you know, best type of experience. They'd have, you know, the best displays, they'd have the best, you know, most amount of RAM, they'd have, you know, the best everything across the board. But even though the iPhone 11 Pro did have a better display, it actually ended up becoming I guess a little bit of a, the iPhone 11 still had some advantages, which was so crazy. So you were getting the same internals for the most part, the same chipset and the same amount of RAM, which was so crazy. Now Apple doesn't really do that anymore at all. I mean, they now they put like the A16 Bionic in the newer ones and like the A15 in the older ones now with the 14. So that was honestly kind of weird too. But another thing Apple did, which I don't think they probably will ever do ever again, was actually decrease the price tag. When Apple went ahead and released the iPhone 11, they didn't increase the price. They kept it at, they went ahead and actually decreased it from $749 on the previous iPhone down to $699 for the next generation of devices. Now that was also something that was so crazy when Apple went ahead and, you know, announced that during their keynote. I honestly could not have believed Apple would do something like that. That made no sense to me at all because of how great of an idea that was. I mean, Apple going through and giving us a way better phone at a cheaper price tag was phenomenal. And they kind of kept a $699 price tag too of a phone until the iPhone 14s came out. Now we no longer have a $699 iPhone for the newer ones. So in my opinion, the best iPhones probably came out three years ago. When Apple went ahead and released the iPhone 11 series, these were some of the best iPhones of all time. They still hold up fairly well. And honestly, when I look at these iPhones, it's honestly pretty surprising to see basically how Apple kind of peaked in one way, you know, back in 2019, in my opinion. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Solon.